When your husband's a footy star, that can lend you a pretty lucrative profile. Taylor Winterstein is using hers to sell a purple powder that costs up to $1,000 a kilogram. But medical experts say the supplement is just ground rice. Honestly, put your hand up if at one point in time you have felt pressure, coercion, coercion or manipulation from the medical establishment or GPs to vaccinate yourself or your child. Put your hand up high, please, I wanna see. Taylor Winterstein is many things. A mother, an NRL wag, an ex-vaxxer who runs a self-proclaimed health and wellness website, an influencer and a seller of Enzacta PXP. One thing Taylor isn't is a medical expert. I don't have time to tolerate that nonsense and I do not have to justify or explain myself to you, okay? She calls herself a health warrior, a truth speaker, preaching her health opinions to her almost 20,000 social media followers. But it's this purple powder medical professionals are most concerned about. You're paying a lot of money for ground rice and it's not going to treat any condition whatsoever. Are you aware of the claims that the company does make? Hey, I might even start giving out teaspoons of PXP. I want you to be at that level where be you can like, receiving. you're like, yeah, your eyes are like, boom. And everything that I'm saying is landing right here. All the governing bodies would be cowering and going, what are you doing? For centuries behind Chinese palace walls, purple rice was carefully protected and guarded. Only the emperors, their families, and the warriors who rode into battle for them were allowed to consume the rice. Now this potent rice has been rediscovered and unveiled in Enzacta Alpha PXP Royale. Or at least that's the spiel on Taylor's website and every other Enzacta PXP salesperson's website. I also need to tell you the glasses that I'm wearing on the 16th of April I don't wear anymore because my eyesight is improved so much. According to these testimonials, some from Enzacta reps themselves, the purple powder is nothing short of a miracle. Me personally, I've been taking this for seven years. I haven't had a cold, had the flu, haven't been to a doctor, I've had no reasons to go. Totally healthy. I couldn't work, I couldn't walk and talk, I couldn't drive, um, it was really, really affecting my life. This woman uh, says she suffered from window. back pain, shoulder pain, thinning so hair, bad like skin, even cracked and heels and debilitating and migraines. But just a few days after starting to take PXP, she says all her ailments began to disappear. I no longer have silent migraines. I haven't had one since I've been on PXP. Every doctor has, has a duty to look after the health of the public. It's our duty to call a spade a spade and to tell people that this stuff like PXP is, is just rubbish. Surgeon Dr John Cunningham. It's just ground up rice, that's all it is. There's nothing magic about it. it. It's difficult to describe how benign this powder is. It's just like eating rice. On one of Taylor's websites, she claims PXP is micronized to alpha particle size, meaning the rice is able to go into the cells to feed the mitochondria. Dr Cunningham says that's nonsense. My concern is that if people take this stuff, two things are happening. One is they're wasting their money and for this product a large amount of money. Um, and secondly, they may be led to believe that they don't need to take their legitimate treatments, their effective treatments, for conditions that they may actually have. Money, 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 money! <laughs> Taylor sells PXP in two sizes, a 150 gram plastic container for $150 and a 454 gram version for $275. And she posts a number of testimonials on her pages from her followers. This mother says her child's autism has improved since taking PXP. And this woman says her vision has gotten better and her eczema hasn't flared up. Another testimonial suggests a woman who's long been suffering from arthritis has more energy than ever after taking PXP for just seven days. 
Similar claims are on the PXB Facebook page, with Spruikers claiming the powder could help sufferers of dementia. People who are ill or have ill children can be desperate for answers. Can you understand why people want to believe in a product like this? I understand that they're desperate for an answer. They're desperate for a cure. Um, and my heart goes out to them. But I don't think giving people like that false hope and making money from it is acceptable. It's so exciting to see PXP getting into so many new homes lately. Taylor also sells tickets to her workshops about informed consent for $200 each. If you really want to be there, you'll make your way out of no way. I've, got, I've given you a month to get your shit together. How exactly does the Inzacta PXP business model work? Well, it's not really a pyramid scheme because it, it seems that they're actually not just making money from recruiting, they're actually making money from the product. It's called a multi-level marketing or an MLM or direct selling company or a party plan. Whatever term you want to use, they're exactly the same thing. And Zacta promises its sellers luxury bonuses, rewarding them with a $10,000 shopping spree and home down payments. Tracy Hall runs the Ethical Direct Selling Group and has been in the industry for 30 years. If our company is part of the Direct Selling Association, regardless of which country, there are certain rules and regulations. So it makes uh, suggestions in there about the claims that you can make with regards to the products or services that you're selling. Enzacta is not a member of the Direct Sellers Association in Australia. The umbrella company that makes the PXP is, they, they make some pretty outrageous medical claims. Are you aware of those claims? You must think it's a pretty special rice if you're selling it for $275. You can buy purple rice at Woolies for just a couple dollars. So there must be something really good about it. And I just, I'd love for you to explain that to our viewers. We requested an interview with Taylor, but didn't hear back. Tay, you've claimed that the media is twisting your words and that you've ignored all of our requests to chat. So. We're just keen for some information. I think it falls to the consumer in that we have the power to investigate, to research. We have the platforms to do so now. Mazkoot runs PR firm Coot Connects, which represents a number of social media influencers. Do you think it's time we regulate this space? You're definitely seeing more so in the last year or so the use of words like partner, hashtag ad, hashtag spawn. So I think there's definitely more accountability in the space now than there has been in the past. You're not a medical expert, Tay. It's not just me being bullied by the GPs. Everyone is being bullied at this point. Right? Somehow society could relate the number of Instagram followers to the veracity of their medical advice. You know, it just doesn't work like that. We contacted Enzacta, the makers of that powder, for comment, but we didn't hear back.